out of the ring has passed away from leukemia. His family says Michael died about 10 o'clock last night at Kern Medical Center. 23 ABC's Troy Campbell is here now with some thoughts of, from those pardon me, who knew Michael Dallas. Troy? Well, Todd, as many people in our community know, Michael Dallas was more than just a boxer. He spent years as a mentor to hundreds of local youth through the Bakersfield Police Activities League. This is the gym where Michael Dallas spent more than a decade training young boxers in Bakersfield how to throw a strong punch. But more importantly, he taught them how to become men. Daniel Alcala came to the gym as a kid looking to pass the time. But what he found in Michael was more than he expected. My mom would threaten me like, said she was going to tell Mike, you know, so that was one of our fears too, you know, because I didn't have no dad, you know, my mom raised him by herself, you know, and Mike was there on the side. Michael's childhood friend, police sergeant and director of the Police Activities League, Chad Jackman, says he last saw Michael just hours before his death. I'd been up to the hospital earlier that day. I knew that it was pretty grim, and then um, one of the, um, his sister gave me a call about a little after 10 last night, and you know, you, you try to prepare yourself for it, but I was still you know, pretty devastated. Jackman says Michael hadn't been to the gym in months due to his ailing health and chemo treatments. He says everyone at the gym was praying for his return. This just seemed like one more challenge that he was going to whip. And he seemed like he was getting over it and getting better and better. And then he just, this one Mike just couldn't overcome. A fighter, a father, and a hero to many. Michael's memory will not soon be forgotten. Out of the ring, he was, he was such a good person and such a caring person. There wasn't a mean bone in, in that man's body. And when he walked into a room, wherever it was, he just lit it up. He just was full of life. Everything I do, I do what he taught me. I don't do anything different. Michael's funeral has been scheduled for 10 a.m. on Saturday, November 24th at St. Peter's Baptist Church. Live in the studio, Troy Campbell, 23 ABC.